For August 8th. Right. See, it means a lot, it means a lot of things. Yeah. I know 888 is like super special. Shout out to episode 88. This is what, what's and even be? the number 8, if you turn it sideways, it's fucking infinity. Romo's in the house for this one. What's it going to be about, bro? The pros and cons of, of going vegan. All right. And the I think in the difficulties. Yeah, the difficulties, I guess. I guess the, diff- the disciplines it takes for you to really want to do it. So the pros are obviously then you're not partaking in the death and slaughter of innocent animals. There's all those fucking chickens in the fucking dark and shit. I don't want to take part in the processed meats all the time. <clears throat> my bad. Well, I guess for my choice, the reason why I want to do it is just cleanse the body. You know, it's not uh, very good. To have meats every single day, at least in my opinion. Maybe have cleaner meats like chicken or turkey or whatever. But fish. Yeah, but even then, it's like dangerous, right? Because you don't know where the fi- if the fish were in fucking Fukushima, they were bad fish. All oh, those farm tilapia are like no good for you and shit. Yeah. So it's like you gotta be careful, like that. So that's another argument for fuck it, just to avoid all that meat. You know, and they say you could get the. Uh, like when I eat almonds, it's, I, I, it doesn't feel the same as eating steak. But supposedly, if you eat a certain amount of almonds, you get the same amount of protein or some shit as a steak. I don't feel that. But I think it also depends on your lifestyle. Like we were saying earlier, if, if you're sedentary and you get to sit down all day, then yeah, it might be easier for you to be a fucking vegan. Nah, I shouldn't say fucking vegan, but a vegan. But like when you have physical childs where you're on your feet or you're moving shit uh, it's I, I guess it's not impossible but it's gonna be fucking difficult and you gotta supplement that shit with a lot of fucking protein like, different proteins yeah you still get your same protein just different way yeah I, you, feel, I can just I look at it that way because of how you know people survived in the old times where they didn't have meat and then as a immediate access what if they've always had meat like, how do we know? I mean, but you have to learn how to hunt. And in order for you to <coughs> hunt, you have to know how to make a bow. Or you well, have to know how to make a yeah, spear. He's right back in the day. It wasn't like, oh, you go to the store and get meat. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to know yeah. how to track. You gotta get your own meat if you get meat. Yeah. So you had to survive. There's times where you didn't have meat, gathers. for sure. So hunter gathers. Yeah. yeah. We get the meat. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because I would assume, like, they would, like, uh, salt it to make it last. Yeah. If they had salt. Right. You gotta remember salt and pepper and stuff was like a very delicate, luxury, luxurious source in India and stuff. Spices were very... Wait, where did salt come from? Salt? From I Europe? Mean, let me see. I mean, look that yeah. up. Okay. I know it comes from mines. Okay. I, th- I think salt... Mines. Oh, I, th- salt I mines. think salt is more common in the Americas than all those other spices. Well, the Americas, we had some spices, right? Cause yeah. like, uh, spices, but you gotta Mexico. think, in Europe, they didn't have it over there. Like right, that. they didn't have shit. They, that's why wars were really started, yeah. because of the need for spices and whatnot. For flavor. Yeah. For some shit that we don't even give a fuck about, or we don't even think twice about. No, nah, we give a fuck. People were, were killed for fucking cayenne and what yeah. and turmeric and pepper Paprika and shit. Paprika and shit like that, yeah. It was a, de- it was a delicacy. It was a luxury to have spices. Mm. Did it say salt comes from haters? <laughs> <laughs> Salty motherfucker. The method of production is determined by the location in which the salt is harvested. So three methods of industrial salt production are solution mining, deep shaft mining, and solar evaporation. Most stable industrial salt is produced by solution mining, where water is injected into massive deposits of salt forced to the surface of the earth by tectonic pressures. The water dissolves the salt into a solution called brine, which is then pumped out and dehydrated at another location. Damn, that sounds delicious. I like salt. So salty basically, shit. you you throw a bunch of water. It's like it's like when you clean out your ears. You throw a bunch of water, and then hopefully the Peroxide water will, will, will take all the crap around. out. Yeah, yeah. So, interesting. so there you go. But I I I think salt's one of those things that comes from everywhere. So if they knew how to get it. I mean, that sounds very difficult. Like you said, it's a very long process. So maybe the Native Americans didn't always have that to like... Well, they learned how to do it. Jerky their meat. But they would jerky their meat, I'm sure. Yeah, they would, yeah, they would yeah. salt it or, or put it 
you know, somewhere where it would not go bad, or they really would have to eat it that that day, or you know, whatever. But there had to be periods of time where man didn't have like meat, where they just had to survive on fucking, or at least certain populations had to survive on nuts and berries, and that's all we could eat that shit. Uh, certain areas in the world, you gotta think that it, it's just some of it's dead. Eskimos, dry, they don't they, they don't have meat. They they just have you know they got they gotta put a little fishing. They gotta fish. Yeah. Inuits. Yeah. Oh, and Eskimo yeah. derogatory. Supposedly. Yeah. My bad. I got a homie named Eskimo. I'm used to saying. Whoa. That's a nickname, or that's yeah, a real a name. Nickname. Uh, yeah. I thought it was like Eskimo Smith or something. Hey, you know why they call him Eskimo? You know why they call Gigi the, the snowman? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why they call him Eskimo. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. There's certain parts in the world like it was hard for you just to get meat. Period. Like, but yeah, there are certain parts in the world where it was that was your only source of, of sustenance. Like, yeah, think about it too. Like the Indians. Whoops. The Native Americans they could get it, so that's why they were a race who was in shape and built because they got that meat. Whereas some of the other races you came across were scrawny, you know what I'm saying? Like, for right. example, I mean, I feel like, you know, like, there's culture, I'm not going to play any out, but there's certain cultures that have just always been naturally scrawny, you know? Well, I, mean? I, I would imagine that, like, I mean, it's just portrayed in the movies, like, a lot of times, probably the Europeans, when they came over here, they weren't as nourished as the Native Americans. The Native Americans were, like, on their feet and shit. The only thing that really helped the Europeans was the smallpox or whatever. warriors because the Native Americans would hunt all the time. Right. And they would, they, you know, they had to do what they were tra- tra- constantly on the move, you know what I'm saying? And then they did it sustainably. Because what happened was with the Europeans, then they started over, over-killing and then, like, over-producing. And that, that made it even, like, rarer. The, the meat? meat? Yeah. Like the buffalo and shit, well, like they well, killed a they lot of They killed them. out the buffalo because they were hoping by taking out their 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 one uh, source of meat, he would starve them, get them to leave. You know what I'm saying? Or they could kill them. <laughs> they could migrate somewhere else, basically. Is that why England took away the potatoes from the Irish? Yes. Yeah. But they were like around the ocean. Why didn't they well, fish? It's probably too cold for fish. That's all they had was potatoes. And then you I don't know, know how the fish poor. in those waters are, bro. I don't right. think. I don't think. I don't think it's that pretty, area... It's probably just the cracking. Yeah, that area is not known for seafood. You know what mm, I'm saying? That's interesting. Like, when you think about Scottish and Irish, a lot of soups, a lot of vegetable shit. You know what right. I'm saying? Lamb. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like but not a lot of... But even then, not a lot of the fish. Irish at that time, really, you know, they're poor. Yeah, yeah. you had to go out so, to the ocean to get, like, fish. So you describe... Like, we all know that the Irish people were very hardcore. Uh, what are they, Catholics or Christians? They're Catholics. Catholics. They're, but the uh, but, so the potato will get you like pretty good. Yeah, potato oh. starch has protein. Has, oh yeah, it's like a miracle food. It really is. It does. It, it handles. It's a meat replacement. It, it handles all. It, it, it can. It, it is. Yeah, it is. It can be. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's the texture and shit, the dexterity. Yeah, but the Irish people like they were hardcore Catholics. They would save up all their money. They would sell their Sunday suits. So they would make it throughout the week. Buy it again on Friday. Or on Sunday, just to wear it for Friday, just wear it on Sunday and then sell it back. They rent it out just to have their good gowns for their it's like church. A, it's like a dude that pawns something and it goes good to every time he gets paid and then has to pawn it again for the next paycheck. But when they took away those potatoes, yeah, the, the, I, not the Irish, England knew that there was something going on with the potato because it was going on in, in Germany or in Prussia and uh, in France. In, uh, in uh, Denmark, I think. So we think Denmark was part. I don't know if they were free yet or what. What do you mean there was something going on with the potato? The, they knew that it was already going down. Like, they already knew that something was going on like, as far as something was killing the potatoes. Like, every mm-hmm. potato harvest everywhere was just going down. Now they just started hoarding the wheat and everything else. So they just started hoarding all the food and basically left the island to die. Damn. It's so crazy. Their history. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're, they're, and then why are they so different? They speak different. They look different. They I'm act different. the original Celts. The Irish. Huh? And so yeah, the, they, they had the, the Gauls and the Celts all mixed together. And the English were those the Anglo-Saxons. The Germanic tribes that were driven out by Rome. I mean, they all had to flee somewhere. They either fled to Norway, Finland, or fucking uh, England. Yeah. And then eventually they came up there too. So, uh, I guess also mushrooms are amazing for. Mushrooms are delicious. 
Talking about the meat. actual vegetable or yeah. psychedelic mushrooms? No, I like the vegetable because they yeah, make yeah, mushroom really patties there, and there's stuff. There's a lot of varieties like shiitakes and portobellos. Yeah. There's they're, they're supposed to be this one that's supposed to be like very filled with protein and shit, you know what I'm saying? Which fills you up, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I love a, I love a regular portobello. Like, like, hey, yo, you know, like, well, you know, like, uh, not, you know, I'm not, I, I don't want to, I don't want to sound like we're knocking on vegan and stuff, but like tofu, that shit's fire. And tofu is, is, is filled, is like a miracle food. That, that thing has, the, the protein it has combined with the fat content combined with everything else it, it, it's perfect if you're trying to eat healthy or you can't eat meat this is the perfect thing this thing will give you all that all the same protein you give from a piece of meat mm. but in, in in the tofu is supposed to be a bean it's supposed to be you know from bean. Well, I, mean, so, yeah. I mean it's just all about how you sauce it too. I mean, right i don't know how you cook tofu i'm just saying it's like uh like my vegetables I don't know if it's because it's soy sauce or something. Oh, yeah, you gotta or add pastas. some. Yeah, some flavor. Yeah, no, pasta, no, bro. Pasta, I can eat. I can eat just straight pasta, pasta. With no meat. And I'm no good. Meat. Yeah. yeah, no meat, just straight sauce and just the way I. You, know, you can season it in the right way. Onions. Yeah. It's all about the sauce, man. If you ain't got good sauce, then I don't know what the fuck you Yeah. I guess vegans can eat pota- spaghetti without the meat. Yeah. Mm hmm. But I think you can uh, substitute if you chop up the tofu or if you chop up something else, like mushrooms or something. Yeah, I feel like tofu and spaghetti. I don't think I'd like that. Kale is some bullshit though. Kale? Yeah, kale I think I think it's bad. Nah, I like spinach. Spinach is good. Kale, I think kale. Is it kale? Kale's too bitter, right? It's yeah, bitter. it's like a weird one. It's like there's a weed, and they're just like, oh, we gotta sell something like, else it's, to. It's good, I get it, but so yeah, I mean, like, I'm not gonna say it's a miracle, damn fruit. Nah, really spinach good. goes hard though. But you know, you know whose fault it is that kale got so popular? Who? Cool. Joe fucking Rogan. Oh, for real? Remember Joe and his shakes, his smoothies? He's oh, the yeah, one, he he's really the really one that made those. the bullet thing popular, the smoothie what? thing, bro. This boot, yeah, bro. Like I got on Joe Rogan later. Yeah, nah, right. I was there. I was there when he was still, when he still had the pocket pussies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I went back later and I watched those episodes. It's crazy. It's fucking hilarious. Like back when, like, Joey Diaz first came on there, like, those are gems, you know? Yeah, classic. He has, like, Bobby Lee back in the day, like, one time and shit. Well, well, you love it. You can also have a good substitute in. Recently? What? Well, recently, Bobby Lee said, and I was going to say this on the debate one, but a lot of people, like, the left. It could be an addendum. Well, I'm just going to say it now because of... Well, I don't know. I'm just going to say it now because I'm going to forget. But the left is, like, so left now that even people who are left, they're becoming more in the middle. Even Bobby Lee's, like, because of the cancel shit. And, like, it's becoming, like, where you can't even have your freedom of speech. That's- and so people are seeing, even on the, some that are kind of left, they're kind of going towards the middle. You know, going way off topic, uh, I think Hollywood is going to eventually get taken back by us because... What's happening right now in China? Like I said, we're off topic right now. What's happening right now in China? Is They're that, vegans. The rice, rice. White rice. My bad. White rice. Uh, Indians? They eat the curry. The oh. curry. Man, this shit's spicy as fuck, though. There's so many different types of curry, though. But Man. curry is so complicated to make. Have you ever seen the ingredients? So, bro, there's like 30 seasonings in that thing. Those those Indians do not play when it comes to seasonings, That's bro. Magic. Well, what That's do you think? Yes, yes. yes. They're like alchemists when it comes yeah. to shit. But that was the origination of all the spices, bro. India? Yeah. Because they had the uh, trade routes down there. That's now we, now so we know why Britain wanted to conquer that place so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, uh, okay. Do you want to do the China thing off, off, off thing? Yeah, fuck it. All right. No, should I... No, no, do it now. Okay, so what's happened, like I said, about Hollywood getting taken back, because if you pay attention to what's going on in Hollywood the past few years, you can tell that it's not American. It's not. It's just not, right? And... A lot of people's theory is that China's the one calling the shots in Hollywood. But in China right now, they're starting to cancel even the uh, the celebrities. Like uh, like before, they would it, it, they would allow the boy bands to exist if they pushed the, the the CCP's message. But now they're literally saying we only allow feminine like like we don't want feminine men. We want male masculine men to be our entertainers. Right. And they're they they've already they blacklisted they blacklisted a bunch of people in China, but they they can do like that. They've taken you can look it up. They take certain actresses. And certain, there was an actor who was seen in Japan at the cer- at a, some ceremony they had, and because he was seen there by the Chinese people, they canceled him. So what they do is they cancel you. They 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 blacklist you from all from all social medias. They take your names off scripts. They'll go in movies and edit you out. You know what I'm saying? Like like well, they have that social 
network system yeah, right yeah, that, yeah. that yeah, it's grades pretty, you yeah, it's pretty bad over there yeah, yeah. So, so so think about this well that they're basically giving they're saying we don't need our entertainment industry anymore you know what i'm saying so they're probably gonna give it back or i don't know what we're, 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 america's probably like i wouldn't even need yeah. your shit but yeah. think about this all those people getting canceled in china are gonna jump shit because they're gonna realize they were played they were just tools because see once they got what they once you push the message and once you got certain people thinking that oh yeah it's all good it's cut you off yeah. like we talked about lennon lennon you know what i'm saying like 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 they they made it sound like yeah you know what we support your ideas you know we're gonna fund you and we're gonna send you give you soldiers and blah 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 but, but, reality, but once he gets in power they cut his head off yeah. same thing with che guevara bro what happened with che him and him him and castro supposedly were fighting for the same thing getting getting funded the, 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 the militia all this bullshit, and then as soon as they win as, as soon as che guevara is, is the face of the revolution and it. the people are behind them and they get it but once they toppled the regime he, he they did dead but we're still gonna use you as a martyr don't you right, worry guy right. you're gonna be the message but you're gonna be the message we wanted you to be yeah. right because we if they can't control you they, they, or you know what evil does not play ball we talked about this before you're not gonna make a deal with evil you're right. not gonna evil's not gonna share its power with you it's not gonna make a fair deal yeah no, and it's gonna so. twist it and shit. this goes with that satan thing we had the other day like, you know where, where i tell you how satan will talk to you okay back to the vegan thing oh yeah Tofu, Man, we got way tofu off curry, curry, bro. You can you fuck with curry, bro. Curry, you know, you can make it spicy. You can make it savory. You can probably make it sweet. You know what is curry? Right, curry is that Indian stuff. <clears throat> Shit, so, it's not, a lot of curry is spicy. I'm gonna look. My it up first for you exactly. job was at this place called Fun Asia, and it was in Richardson. And you they made spot that service, yeah. and they made Indian food, right? And the only thing I really liked was the naan, the bread, because everything else had like very strong. Like I think it was the curry. I just wasn't used to. Curry is a dish with sauce seasoned with spices, mainly associated with South, with South Asian cuisine. The spices commonly include turmeric, cumin, coriander, ginger, and chili pepper, among others. Jeez. In Southern India, leaves from the curry tree may be included. There are many varieties of curry. There. Wow. Awesome. Boom. So curry wow. is like, it's like, it's, yeah, it's, it's, you can do it for anything. So there's there's religion. So you see, if we had to, if we absolutely had to go vegan, it's doable. Yeah. But like, he asked why the fuck you wouldn't want to go vegan. I guess I got nothing against it, but the my job requires me to lift heavy shit and move heavy shit. Outside of my job, you know, I'm looked at as someone who can help like that. You know, like ah, uh, that's that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, that's, they're gonna call you if you need any help to move. That's part. Like that's it. part of my thing. You know, yeah. I, I'm someone who 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 has to sort of be in shape. In order to do that, I need the meat to supplement me. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 I like like uh, like I, I I theorize like I told you guys earlier that back in the day, back in uh, you know the Roman days or even before that, you know like what they would do is they would base your diet based on what your role was in the kingdom or whatever. Like if your job was to be one of the soldiers, a warrior class. You got the meat, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, if you were the elite, you got the meat just because. Right. But if you were just going to be a scientist, if you were just going to be a teacher, they might just say, you don't need me. You know right. what I'm saying? You're or you good. just get a little bit. Yeah, you're good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You, you, you need that thinking food. Right, not, you're not going to be not that, physically yeah, Not that do shit food, you yeah. know? I feel like that's that might be something they did. I, I, have, I have nothing to back that up. Right. That, that's why I call it a theory. It's a very interesting theory. You know what I'm theory. saying? But right, yeah, right. I, I need the meat for the things I do. You know, if I want to have muscles, I need the meat. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, like the actors, the, the guy besides um, the juice, they're also, they have to eat meat. The ones who are going to play superheroes and shit. If, yeah. You know what? If we became like the Jetsons, yeah, I'd go become a vegan. I got a robot doing everything for me. You know, we're flying around in, in space vehicles. Hey man, fine. I'll go be vegan. In the future, if we really like those, because you know the theory that the aliens that they have the big heads and the tiny bodies, I'm sure they're vegan. Like uh, Marvin, what's his name? Not Marvin. Remember that that green guy? Did you watch the Jets? Is it the Jetsons? Yeah, yeah but I'm but I'm just talking. Oh, about, that's like, the guy from the Flintstones. That's the guy from the Flintstones, right? Yeah, well, like Marvin the Martian. He knew what I was talking about. Stuff. He knew what yeah, I was talking yeah, about. Yeah. I was thinking about the the green annoying guy from Flintstones. Every he, time I feel like I want to do a dumb decision or something, I'll, he always pops up like as Kazoo. Like, you sure you want to do this? There wasn't a, there wasn't an alien in the Jetsons then. Um, I'm I'm thinking about the Flintstones, right? There was just robots. I'm thinking about the, that's weird that there was no aliens I'm in the Jetsons. Thinking about the Flintstones. We should go watch it and see what we can we can we can. We can glimpse from that show oh that'd be so fun can you stream it somewhere 
I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, so that's why I don't want to go vegan because I feel like I need it. Yeah. You know, but I respect vegans. You know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But don't I try mean, that's, to, but, that's but, a discipline. But hey, when it's like we talked about last episode. Look, if you if you're gonna be a vegan and follow it, okay, just be a person who eats a certain way. Don't make it a part of your belief system, right? Like. Like, don't sit there and try to convert me into what you do. Right. Don't sit there and badmouth me not being a vegan just because right. you are, just because you feel a certain way. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to do me, and I would hope you would do you, right? right. You know, like, like, you know, yeah, pretty much. Just respect it, you know? For just sure. Because a lot of times people on both sides will judge the other side. Hell yeah. And, and, and you shouldn't, you know. We're all humans. We're all different. We can eat. <laughs> we can eat both things. So HBO obviously, Max has it. You still, oh, yeah. you still got oh, wow. it? Oh wow! Oh man, I think I think I know what I'm gonna do tonight. Ah, ah. Flintstones. What's it? Um, yeah, what you know, do? one food that's actually uh, I consider American food is Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt. Wow, what's what the difference yogurt in general? Yeah, yogurt. What's well, the difference between Greek yogurt and regular yogurt? Too much sugar. You think so? Greek has. Yeah, less. don't they have unsweetened even when you have like? Huh? What about unsweetened? Yeah, no sugar. No plain Greek yogurt. Yeah, it still has less sugar than, than regular plain yogurt. I hope it has no sugar. I, and also, I think it has more protein. Than, than Why do they use different milk? Goat it's, milk? It's, yeah, it's like a different different way they make it. Because in Greece, yogurt. I imagine they have like a whole lot of goats. Because when I was uh, cutting plain. weight, and I had to substitute meals instead of eating meat, because uh, y'all would test it out too, where if they couldn't eat meat, I wouldn't eat meat. So I was testing out new meals, and that's what I did. I would make my morning meals would be Greek yogurt, and I would I would not trust um, any like Kobani, you know, the, that's the brand of the, uh, Greek the main yogurt. brands. Yeah, Chobani. 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 My bad. That's a Kobani. Chobani. 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 <laughs> it's a Greek yogurt, but it'll have chopped up fruit already in it. Well, if you look in it, it has a lot of sugar. Yeah, in all that. They fruit. add extra sugar to it. It's all that fake fruit. Yeah. You better off getting the plain. If you really want to eat healthy, get the plain shit and just cop your own. Yeah, that's oh, what I did. Yeah. I chopped up on strawberries, chopped up on blueberries and blackberries, and I threw it in there and I would mix it all up. Like I would uh, yeah. blend granola? it up. Oh shit! I was gonna ask about granola. Is that yeah, healthy? Yeah. Like yeah. are those oats? Look, okay, look. There's a lot. There's a lot of granola that is over, over, over sugared because the right. way you make granola is this. You got to take the nuts. You take the nuts and you take the, whatever you're going to throw in there. The berries, the sugar. I mean, the sugar. The, but it's oats, right? Yeah, it's oats. Like and oat the oats, yeah. oats and the nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you put it all together and then you put honey on it. And then you're going to bake it in the oven. You bake it somewhere. And that's how you get granola. Yes, if you put like super over sugared fruit in there or you put or you put those candied nuts you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, like yeah. yeah or you put a honey that's just fake honey yeah. that's just sugared up shit that bear that when, and, and that bear is fake honey i hate to hate to hate to be the bear bear but that but the bear bottle is not real honey Damn. i'm sorry it's not yeah. so yeah, even the one with the honeycomb is it Mm, I don't think I know that one, but it, but you have to get that raw honey. You know that raw honey. That's what you want. It, it's not even the raw honey. You've seen it. The the consistency of it is like a like a like a gel almost a gel. Yeah. I mean it tastes it tastes awesome once you get it because it's real real honey will never taste too sweet. Right, you, right. you can taste that this is not fake sweet. You know right, like right, right. like you tasted the, the honey I have. You know so yeah. it, it's that's why I, I switch my sugars. Like I don't even eat. He actually taught me this. They don't eat the the white. Regular industrial sugar, eat the pure cane sugar. Cause yeah, it's way better for brown you. Brown sugar. Yeah, yeah I've, I've been eating brown sugar for years. You know I've been eating pure cane because I'm like. I mean, our like hearts are brown. Yeah. We're Mexican. So. Yeah, no, nah, but uh, but like uh, so you had a granola, so it's not bad, but it just depends on what's in the granola. Okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. So granola's pretty good for you, but you gotta get the like don't the, like. The Chex Mix that has the chocolate and all that shit in it. Oh, like, yeah. Okay, you but know, you know, I think mean? why some people don't, don't take that idea as, like, to do that for a morning meal. Because it, people are too fucking lazy. Yeah. They don't want to get work. up, chop up the, the everything, and then put it in a blender, and then blend it yourself. They'd rather go pay for McDonald's up there, and they'll add extra sugar to it. Yeah, that's so what you like. Bro, my sugar. mom loves those parfaits from McDonald's. And I'm like, Mom, this is like candy you're eating, Mom. This is like, yeah. Yeah, this somebody yeah, somebody yeah. did a, a picture or a meme where at Dunkin' Donuts, one of their drinks is the equivalent, the sugar content in it is the equivalent of eating like 15 donuts. Damn. Fry, like, yeah, yeah, I've like, seen those pictures where yeah. they show like the grams. Imagine the Starbucks drinks. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Might as well just give me, you know, fifteen of their fucking uh, what is it, their muffins and shit. Yeah, and I mean, pe- 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 people say, yeah, I like coffee, I like going to Starbucks, and it's like, wait, uh, you don't like coffee, you like milk with sugar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like a milk. And that's shake. all it is, milk with sugar. That's so bad. I, I still remember the day that that uh, my taste buds started getting older when Yo, uh, creamers didn't taste the same anymore. Pause. Pause. What if what if all the thickness of all these girls in the, all of a sudden the world is not because they're all getting fun and thick. But they're all slowly becoming diabetic because of the diet that they inherit. Oh my god! The frappuccinos, the the Chick Fil A's. You know what I'm saying? Like that's mm. right now. That's the common, uh, you know, young girl of diet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. going to Starbucks and going Chick Fil A. You know what Wait, I'm saying? Yeah. Is coffee out of totally. vegan diets? Because if they tell me yes, I'm gonna look at them like a crazy. Well, shit. I don't, bro. I think if Ooh. you're a vegan, you might not need that cap. It might make you too strong out. Because look, because <laughs> the caffeine bit. burns metabolism. Right. You already have, you already taking. So I just in, have to substitute it with like veggie sticks. You're, you're already taking, <laughs> you're, you're already taking in less calories. You know, I would think that because you know, yeah. you're, you're already, you're already taking in less calories. You know, like, like for example, when we eat in the breakfast, you know, in the breakfast, in the breakfast, when we eat for breakfast, you know, we have some meat and we have a little cookie or whatever, a muffin, and we have the coffee. That that meat that we ate is gonna help dilute that coffee, right? But if you don't got meat, you just like you say you have granola in you, bro. You are gonna be wired the fuck yeah. up. It's like you you hot like you hooked it up. It's it's, it's like no, you, I know that feeling. I yeah. get I, I get nauseous. Like, I'm like, okay. no, I need have, some have you ever food. woken up and like the first thing you do, like not not because you meant to, but you end up eating and then having coffee right away, like and then, like they, when it whoa, like when it first hits you, right? Instead of like when you've already eaten a little bit and you have coffee, like oh, okay, it's good, it's good. But yeah. That's that's how you would. I imagine that's how you feel on the. I mean, I I would get like dizzy. Yes. You know, like a little yeah, nauseous. Yeah, that, that, that's when I know I gotta hit a ball. You know what I'm saying? I'm a like, ball or, or eat something yeah. a little heavier. Yeah. Some I, yeah. Or yeah. There, there's like Starbucks caffeine. <clears throat> both both of that took you to the, the Vietnamese coffee. I have to do something that day, or if not, I might I might go haywire. Yeah, you gotta make sure you drink water with this shit. Yes, I tell that's why oh, I tell yeah. everybody, you know, choke. I tell that's why I tell you all the time. I tell you drink coffee, choke some cold ass water. Yeah. It's cold ass water is because your body needs to feel that coldness, and your stomach needs to needs to help process that coffee already. Well, for sure, water because the caffeine it dehydrates you a little bit. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. A lot of people will say, "What do you mean? Coffee has water, motherfucker!" And it's, it's like liquid. Oh, yeah, bro. And it's like, all right, you know what I'm saying? So does that mean I can't drink it? You know what I'm saying? I would not. What do you mean? <laughs> but you still be a vegan. Hey, but <laughs> vegan <laughs> means you can't have milk, right? Or well, not cow milk. Depend- well, look, it's like Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim <laughs> taught you this. There's <clears throat> levels of veganism, right? There's I'm just gonna have like this, but then there's I'm not gonna touch anything that ever had a mother. You know what I'm saying? Like so, yeah. If you're not, if a uh, milk is not something that died, but it comes from something Which that had. Which one is the one that can't have cheese? It's vegan, right? What, what do you mean? Yeah, because there's a difference between vegan and vegetarian. Lord, are you serious? Yeah, there's a yeah. I difference. didn't know this. Yeah. I just thought that vegans were dudes who didn't people who didn't eat meat. No, that's what a vegetarians. vegan. Vegetarians. That's vegetarian. Don't eat meat. But vegans don't eat anything from an uh, animal. Okay, yeah, but vegetarians don't have some like. Podcast, though, I'm like, oh, but, <laughs> I, I think vegetarians will have like uh, fish <coughs> and stuff. With vegetarians will. That's they'll another thing. Fish. That's another thing. Fish. fish. No, they'll have fish and, and uh, cheese and stuff. But vegans will not have anything that had a mother, like you said. That's they won't that. have. They won't drink any milk. They won't have any cheese because it came bro, God, made from milk bro, from a cow. Bro, I was just saying like this too. I mean, look, God didn't invent something as beautiful as a bacon cheeseburger for us to just say no thank you. Well, you that could be saying? the devil with this temptation. You only live once. Oh my God. <laughs> I you know think, I saying? think, let's just look at the chicken. The chicken is so dumb and, <laughs> and it just looks like God made it for us to eat. It's easy to catch, easy to kill. Well, what if that's you know, bro, not- this is what the elites would do. This is what cannibals would say about the, the people they catch and kill. I mean, look at them, they were just there for the ticket. Nah, but, but, but we're not going. Bro, 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 bro. I guess to them, I guess they see it. We're animals, like you know? What'd you say? My bad. I said it's Darwinism, bro. Survival of the fittest. How long has this podcast been going? I don't know. We've been talking for a good minute. Oh, it's 30 minutes. That's what's up, bro. Yeah. I mean, do you have anything else to add? But. <clears throat> Wait, do we finish on that point of what the difference between a vegan and a vegetarian? Yeah, hey. Do you want to look it up? Do they I, fight I, too? I, I have been enlightened. Either. I, I learned something new today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do they fight too? Look at that. Nah, I they think can. They're, I they're think too they're tired. Re- they're already too, too strong out. They don't <laughs> have too the strong. energy. Oh, they throw one punch. Oh. They're sleeping. Oh. 
I think it would be. Oh, damn, but I think. We're just kidding, vegans. Yeah, I'm not saying kidding. I'm gonna go completely vegan or vegetarian. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying. Well, no, there, see, no, no, no. The body needs it, it time to cleanse away from break. meat. You're, yeah, because... you're not saying that you're gonna go vegan at all. It's just that for a little while, I'm gonna try not eating meat. See, that's the thing. Don't take, don't, don't take it as a lifestyle. Just that's... say, hey, I'm trying something out. Yeah, that's what they do. They, they look at it like I'm joining a new religion. Right, I'm joining yeah. a group. Yeah. But it was a, like, a new uh, fraternity. But it's also uh, brand new. Eating too much meat because some people do this shit every day. Like they just eat meat every day. Like they'll eat like McDonald's. Oh, they get clogged up. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. There's, there's been, yeah. Yeah. For sure. We don't. Don't your know arteries like, get no. clogged up and shit? But well, that's the like fat that. and well, shit. We all know people like that. Yeah. So, but yeah, be interesting to try it out. I'm gonna eat meat at least once a week, probably like on Saturday or Sunday or something. But. Just to cleanse out the body. I feel like after being a survivor, you know, it's kind of take a hit on my immune system. So. Of the vid? Huh? Survivor of the vid? Yeah, survivor of the vid, but I'm, I'm a survivor, dog. I survived. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you did, but I don't know if that's why you... I, think I, don't have, I, I feel awful. Well, what, what, if, what if it wasn't even the vid? Like, what if, what if you said, what if it was just something that was caused by your bad habits, you know? It could be. I'm not denying that. I think that the vid is caused by, for for a lot of people, it's it's mishaps and, and it's also karma and life coming back and. Back what? Back, you know what I'm saying? It's, I don't it's, know. Like like for sure, alcohol drops your immune system. He feels this about himself. His his case of it. Oh. Hey, please, you shut up about that. I do not have an alcohol problem, bro. You, <laughs> that's you not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Hey, that's vegan yeah, though. I feel because like this is gonna be a debate. We said it. No, <laughs> we let Romo record his podcast. I'm gonna stop this, Romo. We need to talk. This is an intervention. Oh no, but but alcohol is vegan. It comes from wheat, potatoes. There's look, yeast in it though. What do you agave? mean there's yeast? In? Oh, you mean the liquor? I'm talking about alcohol. Look, I like even, with yeast and shit. I mean, uh, oh, that comes from milk. Masa. What's masa? Masa, we do yeast. What's wrong with you? What you used to make bread and shit. Uh, but that's vegan. Is it bread? Mm-hmm. I don't know. They didn't have a mother. I mean, now, 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 oh, but you gotta have eggs in it. Now, now, yeah, see, you hey, but the, there is kosher. Look, I'm gonna go debate this I, whole. I don't think they use like that kind of dough though. They 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 use fermented yeast. Kosher. I, what? I don't know. Let me go well, I'm gonna eat. throw a, 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 a wrench in this whole this argument with the vegan and vegetarians. Where they say the vegans don't want to eat anything that has a mother. Are you trying to say that they plants no, have a mother? That's true. Are you trying to say that the seeds that they come from don't come from a mother tree or something? And a father. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's parents. And there's, like, they, they're living. See, they're alive. See, they don't even think of it that way. They sort of want to be different. Just, be, just because you can't hear them doesn't mean that they're not, like, in pain. Yeah. When you cut them. When you hear that crunch sound, I'm pretty sure they're feeling that pain. Like, well, by that time, they're already dead. Could be. You know? Because they're disconnected from their life source. But imagine eating just meat, you know that's unhealthy. Nah. Hey, it's, it's, but you know what's weird? I, I saw something that said that even like uh, a lot of veget, like a lot of animals will eat insects if they have to, or they'll switch if they have to to survive. Mm-hmm. Like, so um, look, they ferment the yeast like this, is uh, using fermentation. To produce alcohol, they age it by, they age it or by allowing yeast to act on sugars. To brew while yeast is, is to brew while yeast is to ferment. What? So that means it just spoils. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like drinking spoiled so, fucking. Yeah. But that's another thing. It's like from this point, I kind of don't want to be drinking anymore. Or if I had to drink anything, it'd probably be like wine. Oh, uh-huh. grapes. Like but... I give it a that's the closest thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a goal for the next maybe, you know. <coughs> rest of my life? No. 30 years? <clears throat> no, it's just I don't want to test out for the next few months. Isn't it? Okay. So I feel like the body is telling me cleanse. I like how he's like, yeah. I'm going to try doing good to my body and seeing how my body reacts. I think I think we can all we can all predict how to your body. Cause and effect, your body's going to like it. Yeah. Right. More than likely. But we'll talk about I that when energy. I don't wake up feeling like shit. I don't wake up with a hangover. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's like I was telling them last time. People, people are proud of something like hangovers. Like, oh, bro, I'm fucking up, bro. That is your. That is like CTE. That is your brain telling you we just took a blow that we cannot handle. We just 
poisoned and just, ourselves. Yeah. And we wake up like, oh man, isn't this fucking awesome, bro? I got the case hanging up, bro. You're a fucking idiot. You That's just saying? like how close you were to alcohol. This is just this, this is this is why you are going to end up like losing your brain cells and being a fucking idiot because you're proud of waking up with this concussion that alcohol gave you. I, I, I'm such a pussy though. I I can't. I hate a hangover. Yeah, me too. I'm just like, oh turn my turn. god! I, I, just... I turned into such a little fucking bitch. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, like never again. I'm sorry, I don't want to be so vulgar with it, but fuck, man, I really do. I feel like the world ending. Like I'm dying. But like I said, you know what though? Green is vegan. I think with green, food tastes great. Like oh, marijuana. Yeah, cannabis. Yeah. Marijuana. Yeah. Mary Jane. That's one thing he's never left me throughout this whole time that, uh, uh, where I lost my job and shit. Mary Jane. Yeah. So it's been there for me. She's always there. Yeah. Even right. when I was surviving, it was there for me too. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're vegan, let us know if you like yeah. it. Like I'm it. pretty sure there's some vegans that listen to it. You think there are people who legit turn vegan and just leave it in like, oh, I don't have a choice. I already hang out with people who are vegan. I, I can't go back. Like, I know this is great for my body. I hate it, but I got to keep doing it. Like, bro, bro that I'm, sucks. You're a slave. If I'm you, sure there's a period of time, and then after a while, they're like, I don't even care anymore. Oh, uh, man, okay. you know what's one meal we left out? Beans. Beans are, are good too. There's so many kinds of beans. Tofu is a bean, remember? Oh, yeah. No. It's soy. Tofu is the king of is beans. Is soy a real bean? Soy though? lint. Soy lint green. Soy is a bean. You a soy it's boy? A but is a... it real? I thought it was just like a GMO created from no, Monsanto. Actually... Are you a soy, soy boy? Why? Is, why? What does that mean? <laughs> They've had soy sauce since forever. That's true. Nah. Uh, ramen. Ramen? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. noodles. Y'all name pasta. It's a pot. Y'all name pasta. You know, yeah. Spaghetti. Very yeah, filling. It's Asian, I mean, up. it's Asian spaghetti. And they'll kill you for saying that. <laughs> Man, they will. Okay, but which is better? A chicken alfredo or a big ass bowl of Mishu ramen? What does Mishu ramen have? Pork? Yeah, that's Mishu uh, pork. I said the chicken alfredo. Man. What about you, Vian? What? Which one would you choose? A chicken alfredo from Italy or a bowl of uh, ramen? Gotta be spicy ramen. Spicy mm. ramen? What do you say? pork? I don't, I'm not, I'm not picky, but I probably might even eat the pork. I might just fuck with the, the broth and the pot, the ramen, bro. Uh, that's the only meal that I'll have a, de- a whole egg, like, you know, the deviled eggs they put in there. That's the only one See, I'll I've never one. had that before. Man, that's the only one I'll eat one. But I I've had a lot of anything else Except that. Well, on that note. That's episode 88, the vegan yeah. episode, right? Peace. Yeah, yeah. yeah.